Welcome to the Cheese Priest channel, bringing you only positive Tarkov vibes. In today's video, I'll be showing some tips and tricks to help beginners get started in the game. So stick around. Tip number one, be prepared to die a lot. I think you get the idea. My next point might seem pretty obvious, but learn the maps. Nobody likes wandering around in Tarkov feeling lost and not knowing where the heck to extract. But take a bit of time, check out the Tarkov wiki and get the maps and learn all of the extracts. You can also do offline raids, which is a great way to learn the maps. It has no risk, so if you do die, you still keep all of your stuff. This next point is really obvious, but learn the controls. Learn how to check your mags. Learn how to check if you got a bullet in the chamber. Learn how to peek. Learn how to alt peek. When you ADS, you can hold your breath by pressing alt. So learning little things like that are super helpful. Also learning how to loot. I'm not just talking about dragging your mouse wheel onto the body, picking up the stuff and putting it on your body, but I'm talking about learning how to speed loot. Now you do that by control clicking. You'll see it in this example. On the matter of looting, let's talk about when is a good time to loot. Because I've seen too many of my buddies get too excited, they dropped a PMC and what's the first thing they do? They start running over to that PMC, they get all excited about the loot, they jump on the body, they start dragging stuff with their mouse, and then they just get popped in the head out of nowhere. And then they're just like, oh my gosh, oh I died. <laughs> well, before you start looting, make sure it's absolutely clear. Listen. Have a look around. Don't just jump straight on a body. There's usually two or three other teammates of the enemy lurking around. So always wait a little bit. And also, if you have teammates on your side, get them to cover you while you start looting. Don't just jump on the body and loot and expect to be able to survive. And don't waste your time looting silly items like a packet of matches or something like that. It's not worth the risk. Another big thing most beginners struggle with when starting this game is learning the different ammo types and the penetration and all of that kind of stuff. Obviously, PS rounds in an AK isn't gonna take down class 4 arm. So getting to know what rounds will pen different armors is super helpful and that's why I recommend using the Battle Buddy app. It's by a streamer called Veritas. A lot of this game also has to do with what kind of mindset that you have. If I go into a raid, I am fully mentally prepared to lose everything and I'm okay with that. Also, remember to not get stressed out. Sometimes there can be some pretty tense situations and the amount of times I've heard people just be like Oh my god, someone's shooting at me! And they lose the plot and then they just end up with a bullet in the head is crazy. But just remember, stay calm, pinpoint the enemy location and try to relax as you play. Now this game is not like Call of Duty or something. You can't just rush into a room with all guns blazing. A great tip is to learn how to listen and pinpoint enemy locations. The amount of times I've been able to figure out where the enemy is by listening is absolutely insane. So learn to use your ears. Another tip is you don't always have to run full sprint. Sometimes it's actually better to go a combat pace because if you're all running full sprint all the time, people are going to hear you a lot. I always try to avoid running into trees because that makes so much noise. Turning really quickly while standing still makes a lot of noise. If you do end up engaging in a firefight and you have to shoot from far away, it's always a good idea to reposition soon after. Don't stay in the same spot because if your opponent is skilled, they're gonna be coming towards you and they're most likely gonna flank you and get the drop on you and kill you. Don't stay in the same spot longer than you need to. Now, if you get the drop on another PMC, you're most likely going to be able to take them on Nine out of 10 times, you'll be able to win that fight. But if the enemy PMC gets the drop on you and you try to charge them head on, nine times out of 10, they're gonna win the fight. So I like to think of alternate strategies when engaging in enemies that have already spotted me. 
So I will usually flank and try to get to a spot that surprises them and catches them off guard. So I'm once again in control of the situation and I'm able to get the jump on them. This game is extremely difficult to learn playing solo. So I would highly recommend finding one or two people to play with. It really helps you learn the game a whole lot better. I remember early wipe, I had a few mates that I played with and they helped me get a lot better at the game. We have a Discord community that you are welcome to join. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. If this video was helpful, I would love it if you subscribed. Smash the bell. And I'm sure there was a billion other things that I forgot to say, but I do plan on releasing future content, especially when the wipe happens. But you can catch me on Twitch. I, tr I stream most days of the week. So hopefully I'll see you there. But if not, peace out and I'll see you on Taco.